hilarious. Okay. Oh yeah. Come on, big dog. Go. Now, it's middle of the morning and we're catching cats. These channel cats will bite great in the middle of the day. They're easy to catch. Because in this system, and people never think about going catfish. You'll catch all kinds of beautiful, beautiful eating sized cats like that. These channel cats are cooperative, they're a lot of fun. They are fun, they fight good too. So, get my hook there. I'll let this guy go. There is definitely a dandy eating size channel cat. And that's what we're going to do show you how today how to rig these bottom bouncers for trolling during the day. Family, it's a real easy way to fish. You can catch lots of different things. And best of all, get a pile of nice little channels like this, take them home and eat them up. Let this guy go. Great little, great little fish. Nice one. Nice one. Come here, bud. Here with the technique we're using today, you can catch literally just about everything that swims in the lake. out here in the middle of the day. It's a, location is easy. Oh, these reservoirs. All you're really looking for is just chunk rock. Oh yeah. That's better. That's a better cat. Real nice little channel there. These guys are a blast. They fight really good. And they're easy to catch. Come here, you. Anyway, what we're presentation for these fish is easy. We're trolling these bottom bouncers, which we'll cover for you in detail in a graphic. Uh, we're trolling these bottom bouncers along these broken rock shorelines. And you can find a shoreline like this on really any reservoir or lake in the West. Real easy. 10 to 20 feet of water, let it let the bait down, just bounce along the rocks, catch cats. I mean, it's really that easy. They're fun, you can keep them, they're great to eat, and just says we're gonna let these go today. But uh, go out and do it, you'll have a blast. All right, okay. There he goes. Back down into the inky depths, good deal. Let me go through a basic bottom bouncer setup with you. Obviously, the most important thing is your leader with spinners. They're available commercially in different lengths three to five feet is good i would pick a four footer for catfishing whatever blade color you want some of them have styrofoam floats it's not that big a deal you just hook a night crawler a little bit on each hook and away you go there what you do is take that leader put it on the snap swivel the end of the bouncer tie your line to the loop in the bottom bouncer Get a weight, I would go, honestly use from one or two ounces is all you need, and that'll go straight down to the bottom. The key is let it down till it hits. Reel it up a couple of times and as you're trolling along slowly, see if it's still tick ticking the bottom. If it is, reel it in another half a crank, tells you you just feel the bottom once in a while. Then you know you're close, but you won't be snagging, and neither will your leader. That's perfect catfishing height. And man, the spinner, and I believe that the bottom bouncer itself making a little tap tap alerts them. You can have a great time in the middle of the day catching catfish. The beauty of fishing this way is that it's easy. Get your bottom bouncer on the bottom near those rocks, you're going to catch catfish. You're going to catch probably a lot of other things too, but you're going to get some nice cats, which makes it fun. I mean, it really does. There's, there's something there. Uh-oh. Feel, doesn't feel good. Let's see what we got here. Feels suspicious. Doesn't feel like anything alive. Holy 
cow, it's a Polaroid bass! Complete with film! Look at that! Shows, just shows. You never know what you can catch. You can catch anything pulling one of these though. Okay, this rig will produce film, a Pentax PC100 complete with 35 millimeter film. <laughs> this goes to show you, you can catch everything. Let's deposit that in the trash rather than back in the lake. That's very funny. Well, that's my first camera. On camera, how's that? Not bad. You know, the key to finding the catfish in this reservoir, really any reservoir for that matter, Blake, is to find the flats that, and flats are relative, flat, flat may be 10 feet wide in your lake, maybe 30 feet wide. Where you really need to find is this broken rock from basketball size down to softball size in 10, 20 feet of water. Find that location, use these bottom bouncers, you're going to catch a bunch of catfish. Sometimes it, it helps if you can. There we go. That feels like a good one. It helps if you, you know, if they're starting to bite down that bait a little bit, just let them, just drop back with your rod tip and let them chew on it a little. And it feels like oh, a decent one. These daytime cats aren't going to run big as a nighttime are. They certainly are. They certainly want to bite at a decent hour of the day. And they're fun. They do definitely fight. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's not a bad one at all. A respectable catfish. Yeah, been hanging out down there in the weeds. Okay, there he is. This fish, you can see, he's they're right in the middle of the spawn. The surface temperature today is 75, so it's warm. Fish spawn around 72. You can see he's been there building a nest, and his tail's all rubbed raw from rubbing the gravel for the nest. So the female can come in and lay her eggs. So we notice, guys. Male, nice little male. So we'll let him go and we'll go get another one. There he goes. Can't be got Ooh, Vinky dips. Nice fish. Back we'll get another one. Well, I hope you enjoyed this daytime catfish bite. It's really a lot of fun. The next time you go to the lake, you know, and you're kind of looking for something to do in the middle of the day, go catfish. People won't believe it, but you'll have a great time. <laughs>